The First Lady of Lagos State, Dr. Ibujoke Somolu, along with UNICEF country representative Kristen Mundiete and other experts on boy-child development have emphasized the critical role of modern parenting strategies in raising emotionally intelligent, empathic, and resilient boys. Speaking at the 2024 Lagos Boy-Child Initiative Parenting Seminar, Dr. Somolu explained that the seminar was designed to support parents and guardians in their efforts to raise well-rounded boys prepared for today's world. Plus TV correspondent Love Oyedoku tells us more on this, in this report. Some of us go to religious houses religiously. The religious environment has a role to play. The school has a role to play. Friends have a role to play. Social media has a role to play. The event brought together parents, guardians, religious and traditional leaders, as well as civil society. The forum saw thought-provoking discussions on modern parenting strategies for the development of the boy child in today's world. In her address, Dr. Ibijuke Sogunlu commended the participants for their commitment to a brighter future for boys in Lagos State. Boy Child Initiative. This is 3.0. It started when we started having complaints and mails were coming in about different issues to the office of the First Lady. Cases like child abuse, cases like sexual and gender-based violence, cases of the way they're painting our boys out there. The First Lady emphasized the importance of providing boys with positive role models who demonstrate respect, kindness, and integrity. Dr. Sawunlu urged participants to help shape boys into men of integrity, resilience, and empathy. Today, more than ever, boys are growing up in a world that demands a new kind of strength, one that values empathy, emotional intelligence, respect for others. These qualities are essential for the balanced development of our sons and by extension for building communities rooted in peace and understanding. In his goodwill message, Chairman, House Committee on Youth and Social Development, Abiodun Orekoya, praised the idea behind the seminar. He commended the First Lady's commitment to supporting the boy child and expressed optimism that the seminar would educate parents to raise boys who aspire to positively impact their communities. And so you need to know that you are raising Generation Z and Alpha. And in raising Generation Z and Alpha, there are four things you need to know. They are no longer the generation that will just keep quiet because that is so. And so four things you need to know. One, their identity is not defined in their quest for truth. They are very open-minded and they love to express individual. That's why we call them Sorosoke. When I was the chairman of the local government council as chief security officer, I had the privilege to be involved in these security challenges. And because I work with the CDAs and all of them, I realized there are mothers that sleep on guns that their children use to do courtesy. UNICEF's country representative, Christian Mundwait, also lauded the First Lady's Boy Child Initiative. She stressed the importance of balancing support for both girls and boys in the context of gender equality. Look at this as the rights of children. A child is a child, whether it's a boy or a girl, it's a child. And what every child in the world has in common with any other child in the world is rights. They all have the same rights. The seminar featured a panel discussion with experts in boy-child development. Love Uyedukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.